Barbara Lynch from Boston. We met at Nine Park oh, and a long time ago. And now she has what? Seven restaurants later. Yes. So today we're going to do veal. Veal because Barbara has this Italian heritage. And in the French heritage, there is some veal. There are some nice veal recipes. I'm going to do something called the popiette. I'm doing um, uh, asabuco. We are very proud of our veal because one, it's humanly raised. Two, it's technologically uh, unique in America. Mm -hmm. Each calf has a computer chip. Mm -hmm. And when they get to the nipple, they don't know it, but they are working on a scale. So if he's too chubby, mm -hmm. only water is going to come out of this thing. If he's too skinny, very concentrated uh, milk and whey uh -huh. is going to come out of this thing and very little water. So that at 20 weeks, even though they were not battery part in uh, individual stuff, they are all more or less the same size and beautiful and ready to go. Alsabuco is traditionally in Milan or, you know, um, and they have, they usually serve it with um, risotto um, with saffron, and that meant wealth. So that's your flavoring agent for the osobuco? Simple mirepoix, onion, yep. onion, celery, and carrots, and garlic. A little red wine, tomatoes, salt and pepper, rosemary. Two and a half hours later, yep. voila. Strozza preti is uh, basically durum wheat, or semolina flour, um, fine semolina, and uh, water. And then you just take it um, like a little Pea ball size. Yes. And you roll. Strozza preti means choke. Priest strangler. The priests like it so much they ate it so quick. And then Say it he... again. Strozza preti. Strozza preti. Strozza preti. Priest strangler. She's he, an assassin. He ate it so we fast. knew she was an assassin, but now we have the proof. <laughs> So the sauce, the pasta that really soaked up the sauce, a nice piece of osobuco. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. Mm? Very good. Very good. Very good. Now mine is called a popiette in French, which means something rolled. So we're gonna roll like a little package with a little stuffing inside. For the stuffing. All you need is a little bit of bacon. Bacon smell is the number one reason why vegetarians become uh, carnivores. I know. <laughs> this is what we use. We love it. We call mix. this the chef's mix. It's basically cultivated mushroom, but with a little more oomph than your uh, regular uh, portobello. Yeah. Um, here I'm using tenderloin, but really, frankly, you do not have to. You can use what we call the top round, the uh, bottom round, any part of the, of the uh, animal is fine. Again, as long as you're going to flatten it, I'm going to show you one. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. Take a little bit of the stuffing. Roll your bacon around. See, it's starting to look... Uh, like a package. Like a package like a popiette. Okay, so the trick is to really brown it on all sides. Mm. Little bit like you did your uh, autobook already, eh? it's the same principle. This is gonna cook in liquid for a bunch of, uh, of time. So basically braising too. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Little bit of garlic, half water, half white wine. Ooh, yeah. You use mustard a lot. In a lot. Well, you use it twice. You use it in the sauce and you use it inside the, uh, the stuff. So it's like instead of vinegar, so that tang, for the tang, it's good. Yeah. So once we are there, huh? exactly there, you put back your popiette, simmer, cover, 30 minutes later, it's ready. Voila. 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 your Sunday night family dinner, like in France. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Yay! <laughs>